What's up guys? Well, it's been a while since I've made a video on this computer, my uh, home theater PC here. Mainly just because I've been working on my more cheaper LAN rig lately, or also been working on that. But, <clears throat> anyway, so far it hasn't been giving me any problems so far. This is, I made this to pretty much be a... Uh, a home theater PC you watch videos on, but also to play games on the big screen here. Um, let's see here. Let's go over specs real quick here. Uh, it's got an i7 uh, 3930K at 4.5 gigahertz. The motherboard is a Intel DX79TO. Uh, I've got some G-Skill Ripjaw X memory 16 gigs of that it's uh, rated at 2133 but the way I've got to have it set up it's more like 1996 or 7 or something like that megahertz uh, then we've got a Noctua DH14 cooler the case is a Silverstone RL06BR-GP the PSU is a uh, 1000 watt Rosewill Glacier GPU is a GTX 980 Ti by Zotac. It's an Amp Omega edition. Uh, the SSD in there is a 240 gigabyte silicon power. Uh, hard drive 750 gig Samsung HD uh, 753LJ. It's a really, really, really old drive from like I think 2008 or 9 or something like that, but keeps working so I'll keep using it but just do a little quick uh, overview of the case just for those who are new to the channel or for people who are just checking out this video for the first time we've got uh, the little hard drive activity LED two USB 3.0 ports two USB 2.0 ports and then we've got our headphones and microphone jack this whole thing comes off so you can get to the uh, air filter back there but just for a second here I basically made this thing to be the ultimate air thing just to reiterate if I haven't or if I haven't said that yet since I kinda don't do takes in these videos sometimes I forget what I say sometimes anyway though a little close up here of the fans and how loud it is up close but when you sit far enough away you can barely you can't even hear this thing especially when you get your games not gonna be too easy to see in there but we've got a 120 at the back too there's the DH14 and the uh, cool in the CPU there got some sleeved cables there uh, let me just pause the video real quick here and open up the side panel so you can get a better look. It's too tinted in there to see real good. I've been thinking about adding another red LED strip on the bottom there just to make it so people can see a little better when I make videos of and just so I can admire it better. I like admiring my work. <laughs> anyway, so here's a... Uh look at the inside see there's an Octua there's a 980Ti fans aren't spinning because it's not doing anything right now uh, down there that's my uh, USB 3.0 card I had to, to get one of those because this motherboard doesn't have the front uh, panel connectors so to get USB 3.0 on the t front of my case, I had to get one of those. Not a big deal though. And then you can barely see the rip jaw memory. And this is in quad channel. And then you can't really see anything in the basement there, but there's the PSU down there. It's got a little dust filter. It's got a dust filter under here, so. Ooh, here we go. Not a very great one, but you know, 
Obviously, I'll put that back on, but I just wanted to take it off ahead of time instead of fighting with it during the video. And doing 10,000 takes. We kind of snaked the 8-pin power connector back down there. Probably could have cable managed a tiny bit better, but... I will mess with that more at another point in time. And then here's just a little bit more info on what's in there and what settings I'm running. Lots of stuff on this motherboard to monitor. It might be old, but it used to be an enthusiast motherboard and CPU at one point. And it's no slouch now. It's still about as fast as a Ryzen 1600. And that's a great CPU. Anyway, though, let's uh, run a couple benchmarks and see how it, uh, how this older generation hardware does with some benchmarks. All right, well, here's what it got in Fire Strike. And I did put the side panel back on. It's, uh, wouldn't be a point doing the test with the side panel off and then being like, oh, look at these, look at these badass temperatures. But we'll look at the temps once we're done with the rest of the benchmarks. So we'll move on to the next one now. This is what it got in superposition. All right, on to the next benchmark. So this is what it got in Cinebench. The best I ever got was at 4.6 gigahertz, but I could never get that entirely stable. And I'd rather have stability than fancy benchmark numbers. So here's what it gets at 4.5 gigahertz. So on to the next test. This is what it got in Geekbench 4. And then we'll do a quick user benchmark, go over the temps, and then we'll wrap this video up. Alright, well, the user benchmark's all done. And here's what it got. Here's a quick rundown of uh, all the different components here. Alright, let's take a look at uh, temps and whatnot. Alright, so here's CPU temps. No thermal throttling whatsoever. There's the memory temps. And how much the CPU used in power. Here's the memory timings. Some motherboard temperature. There's the drives. And there's some info for the uh, GPU.
But, alright. Overall, I'm still very happy with this thing. It is yeah, a bunch of used components besides the case and the power supply. And obviously, like, the RAM. Or not, and the RAM. And I, RAM technically is used. It was mine, but I, I used it before I used it on this build, so... Still count it as used, so, yeah. Anyway, though, I'm just rambling on at this point, so... Till the next video. Peace out, guys.